Welcome back to Sunday League Football. What a week. This is the third cup final in seven days. This time it's the reserves' turn to step up and see if they can add some silverware to what is already a fantastic season for the club. It was exactly one week ago we was here at Tilbury. It was the first team we faced up to Stifford Social. Opening the scoring in that game was Bill. Yeah! Moments later as Nolsey that doubled the lead. Go on, hit it. Into the second half, our opponents had a good spell and they got the reward. But not long after we extended the lead once more as Bill's shot was saved by the keeper and Nick was there to pounce. And it was that third goal that essentially killed the game, but we still have one more in us. Take it away, Blossy. Let's go. And with that, we got our name on the trophy for the first time. Four days later, first team back in action again. We're at Great Waker in Rovers. This was the Essex Premier Cup final, the biggest trophy you can get at our level. We were considered underdogs in this one as we faced up to a side called Imara, a team put together purely to win this competition this year, boasting plenty of players in non-league football, picking up a wage. But despite that, we kept this lot quiet as Bill burst into the box, sat his man down, put it across the loo, who drew first blood. Yeah! And it got even better as well. One minute later, Glossy spots the run of Bill and he found himself one on one with the keeper. And with that, it confirmed whether people like to admit it or not, the best team in Essex. Now here we are, three days later, back at Tilbury, hoping for some more silverware. We're up against a side called Billet, a very physical team. It might be the reason that this cup final is actually being replayed. For those that don't know, the game was abandoned last time round. Serious injury for Perry here. Gutted for him. The game itself didn't start well for the reserves as the ball was played across here. Number 10 with a simple tap in. And not long after that, it went from bad to worse, didn't it? However, we did manage to get one before half-time. Ainsley with the ball, too good with the head. Yes! After the break, we were pegged back once more. Lack of communication. <laughs> but heads didn't drop. JB putting the ball across to Dan. He decided to shoot from distance. <laughs> But it was straight from kickoff where the main talking point of the night came. Poor control from the 99 out there, which allowed a 50-50. Perry won that. But the late challenge is what effectively ended his game and the game itself. Officials didn't want to move him at the time. They didn't know what was wrong. In the end, the game was abandoned because the ambulance took a long time to get there. In the end, it was confirmed Perry ruptured a tendon in his knee. Of course, he'll be out for the rest of the season. So with that in mind, we're back again for take two. And here is the starting lineup for tonight. In between the sticks, we've got a Frank. Then it's a bank of four at the back. We've got Jordan left back, Pep right back, with Dan and Gonzo in the middle. Into the midfield, it's another bank of four with Bill, Jay. AB, Ainsley, and Too Good, which leaves two up top. We've got Callum and Shove. That is your starting 11, but on the bench, we've also got Joey, Wazza, Sam, Greavesy, and Scottish. As you can see, we're pretty much ready to kick off. Can we get a third trophy for the club in seven days? We shall see. Let's do this. <laughs> We're actually going to start things off from kickoff here as Ainsley gets beyond his man. It's out to Jordan. Jordan then looks up on the halfway line, puts it over the top for Callum. Looking quick today. All week they've been saying left side strong is looking like that as Callum bursts into the box here. The rest line up there. Did it go out for a goal kick? I'm not sure, but lively start nonetheless. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to speak to the lads properly before the game. That's because as soon as we walked through the gates, we were told that Shove wasn't allowed to play in this game, which was a strange one because he served his ban. But the rule states if you haven't played a league or cup game 28 days prior to this final, then you can't play. I think that rule's just in place to stop you getting in very good players just for a one-off game in a final to win it. Shove being one of those very good players as he pounces on the keeper. He's won as a corner as well. And yeah, as you can see, he's playing. I spent most of the time with the, the league chairman trying to prove the fact that he did play the first game of the season. Here he is. This is back in September, but the reason they couldn't find him on the system is because the team that we played with Tams Athletic, they folded, so everyone's appearances doesn't count. So yeah, Shove, good to play. He's too good. Whips this one into the box, but that one's going to be dealt with by Billet. So here's Shove once more now, playing the ball up to Bill on this near side. There's a little girl in the way. As Bill plays it back to Shove, late challenge on him. That's going to be brought back for the free kick. So 
So here comes the delivery. It's with Ainsley. Into the box it goes. It's dealt with, but only as far as too good. On the edge. Shoved with the overhead kick. It falls to JB. Hey, Here we go, too good with the delivery. Into the box it goes. It's headed away by a billet player now. And they could get on the break here. It's the number 10 that's going to get it first. I need to watch this, lad. One of the danger men of this side, but Jordan's done well to stop him in his tracks. It's been a good start to the game as far as the reserves are concerned. As Hazy picks the ball up from Dan here, he puts it then out to Bill. Bill then back to Dan. They're passing it around nicely. Let's pick this pass up. Shove's going to drop a little bit deeper. Number two with the tackle there. Wins the ball, but kicks him after. No need for that. Two then gets up and comes away with the ball. He's all arms, this lad. Let's blow up for a free kick. And look at this. The geezer needs to calm down, although we did expect it to be a little bit feisty. You know, think about I'm not too sure why they got this free kick, but anyway, it's the number two that sends it into the box here. It comes in, the bounce has done Gonzo there. It's looking dangerous. Frank's off his line. I think he jumped over. I'm not too sure what's going on. He eventually reaches the edge as Bill gets it off of the 17. We can get on our way. More pressure from our opponents now as the 88 puts it up to the 7. He flicks it out to the 10 here. It's a first time ball from him. Up to the edge of the box. Beyond too good. Gonzo looks to clear, but seven blocks. He's getting a bit scrappy in there as Dan looks to come away with it. He goes down. Falls to the 95. <laughs> Mentioned a bit scrappy there. It is a very scrappy game. Not much going on at all as JB looks to come forward here. Gives it to Shove. He's fouled from behind and that's going to be a free kick. So this one is going to be sent in by Too Good. Looks to be cleared here by the number six. Back in by Ainsley. Falls to Shove. He can't get the strike in, but JB does. <laughs> That one, my friends, is disallowed. JB or Shovel, or even both may have been offside. Not too sure who. And crack on with the game. And Billy looked to carve out a chance of their own here as the ball's played up to the number seven. He picks this up here. He's going to turn and shoot. That's blocked by Dan. Comes off of the six. Back to seven. Another great block by Dan there. Cleared by Too Good. That's only as far as the 95. In the end, he slices his shot well wide. We move on with a clearance from the 17. That's going to be picked up by Ainsley. He beats his man to the ball. Looks to go beyond the seven. He's caught. Goes down. That's a free kick. Believe it or not, Ainsley's going to have a go here. Oh, oh, oh. Great strike from Ainsley there. Got the corner, which Too Good is going to deliver here. It's into the box. There's plenty of bodies there. It's up in the air. It falls back down. It's shoved that rises highest. That's off of the line. Bill it eventually cleared the danger. That was literally the final chance of the half as the ref blows the whistle. There you go. Nil nil at the break, but a much better performance than last time round. Both teams with chances, of course, but I think we're edging it. Let's hope we can take that into the second half. Grab a goal or two and lift the trophy for the third time in a week. As you can see, we're ready for the second half. Before we get going, though, quick shout out to our sponsors, Kit Locker. If you're a grassroots team you need a kit these are the guys to speak to all the links are in the description below but should we do this of course let's do this <laughs> right early doors it's Billy at the start of the front foot as 99 cuts inside a bill puts it into the box here for the seven Dan's on his case but he managed to get it across 11 gets a touch on it was going in but luckily Jordan's there on the line to clear now I spoke about it being a feisty game in the first half it's going to continue to be in this second now that the number 11's on stamp down there on Ainsley no need luckily ref saw it as these two square up to each other ref has words as he tries to calm this down and eventually we crack on with the game we continue here with JB Switching play into the middle there for Dan. He then plays it forward up to Bill here. Takes a touch, turns, looks up as he pings this ball into the box. There's only one man in there. Absolute scenes, beer everywhere thanks to Connor. And the man that was in there at the back post was shoved. Rose high, looping header over the keeper. Pinpoint into the back of the net, it bounced. We've seen this celebration before, haven't we? But it definitely didn't go well for Connor. But he won't mind, no one will mind. In this League Cup final, it's Billet Nil. Palmer's FC reserves one. Get in. So I'll bring you a kickoff. Not long after we're looking to double our leaders, Jordan wins his header over the 95. It falls down to Cal, who gets beyond the five here. He's got shove on the inside if he wants to use him, but it looks like he's going to go it alone. Number two, they're not really going for the ball, just blocking him off. The ref's given a free kick. Head out free kick. Shove's done his work. He's going to be replaced by Joey. Anyway, back to the free kick. JB takes it. It's um, not really the desired effect. Billet can clear their lines. As we move on, we've got a dabbing kid. Didn't know that was still a thing. Actually, Cal was doing it in the warm up. I cut it out to spare his blushes, but as we're on the subject, here you go. Anyway, the shot's come in there from the number 10. Frank with the save. He hasn't managed to hold on to it, and that rolls out for corner. Corner's whipped in here, but that's not going to beat the first man. That's JB with his nut. And away we go. Another substitution. Going to freshen it up. Two goods are going to make way for Greavesy. His first task is to try and keep up with the number seven, and uh, it's, it's not an easy task, I'll be honest. Done well to make it towards the edge of the area. Gets on the inside of Dan here. Hits it with a right... <laughs> Safe from Frank there. Another corner for our opponents. Into the box it goes. It's headed away by JB. Out to the 10. Scuffs his shot there. And there's Ainsley to clear our lines. We continue with an attack of our own here. As JB gets the ball down. He plays it into Cal. We've got Joey and Bill bombing it into the box. If he can get beyond the number two. Unfortunately for us, that isn't the case. That's going to go out for the goal kick. That kick is taken by the keeper. Only as far as Bill though gets that down. It's the cut inside the number five here. Then plays it on the outside to Cal. He's taken out. That's going to be brought back for the free kick. This time it's Ainsley that steps up. Oh, 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 
Corner bowl, delivered. Not the best delivery, but JB gets onto the end of it. Gets the shot in, blocks. <laughs> Next corner comes to absolutely nothing. Diddly squat, say nada. We continue here, another long ball from our opponents. Over the top, 7 and 11 go for it. That is Frank as he looks to catch it. 7 goes up for it as well. Go <laughs> Frank! Oh, Frank. And just like that, our lead could be pegged back. Frank there giving away a penalty. In hindsight, probably didn't need to do this. He was going away from goal. He's done and we've got to deal with it now. He's stepping up. Not the penalty taker I thought it'd be. It's number 11. It's good. Cool. To say we got away with one there would be a big understatement. Huge moment in the game. It's going to be tough to defend a 1-0 lead, so we need to come forward and try and get another. The number five puts it up for Joey there. He rushed his strike. Don't think he realised the time he had there. The clock ticks on. Defenders need to be on the ball. Gonzo setting the example here. Yes, go! Yes! One minute, another substitution. Danes is going to make way. Good game from him today. He's going to be replaced by Waza. Sam's on the field as well now after Joey came off. He took a knock. His number two looks to clear here. Greaves is going to get that under with his chest. He's got Waza to the right of him if he wants to use him, but he's shot from distance. That won't be troubling anyone. He can't build it again now. Long ball over the top. This is their game. It's a foot race at the moment between Gonzo and the number 10 as they tussle. Frank's off the line as well. Good clearance from him. And I'll be honest, I've not seen a ball go this high for a long time. It took a while to come back down. Look at that touch from JB. Flicks it on to Sam here. Busy gets it under. Loses that to number three. That's a throw. Time continues to tick. And as expected, Billet are looking for an equaliser late on here. Cross comes in, but that's blocked by Pep. That's going to be a corner. That is then going to be dinked into the box. Number five heads it on. There's number 10. Snatched it. In the end, rolls out to this near side. Number three is going to get onto it, though. He plays it back home to the 12. He then puts it up into the box. Here's number seven. <laughs> into the 90 now, and another attack from our opponents. 10 into the box from the throw. It comes off of Gonzo there. Jordan gets there ahead of the 95, but 10's on the end of this one to send it in. There's Frank with the save. 93 on the clock now. As Billet have got a free kick, they're going to send this one right into the box. It's off of the back of JB's head. Frank comes rushing out as seven gets his head on it. As that drops, it goes wide and over. Wover. I ain't said that for ages. We've got an injury here. Ref asking for the uh, physio to come on. Time continues to tick. And I don't know the uh, ins and outs of this, but the 11 has been booked. He said something to the ref. There's the yellow card. And he's just applauded him. And out comes another booking and a red card. 11's off. Ta-da. Problem is, he's walked over this side for some reason. He's actually meant to go to the changing room, so uh, we'll wait for him to do that. But I won't make you wait. Anyway, 98 on the clock now. It turns out that that was actually a corner, that looping header. And as it comes into the box here, it's 99 that nods it on. Pep's taken a whack there from the seven. He's gone down as well. Ref blows up for a head injury. He's eventually given us a drop ball in the box. The dramas as Greaves, he clears. <laughs> Yeah, sorry boys, about the penalty. Ah, come on, you bummers! Get in there! Give me a cuddle. Okay. Mate, you play blinding out there today. Cheers, mate. I play blind, but we won. <laughs> you won. you won. Three injuries in one. One, two, and an hamstring. Oh. All in one tackle. Really? All in one tackle. Ref didn't want to know, no? Nothing. Nothing. Well done, oh, Pep. done right at the end. We had an elbow to the eye. Elbow. Yeah. Someone stood on my foot. Fucking eye. Eye socket. Don't know. Fucking. Battle wins, mate. Battle wins. Yes. Come on. There. there you go, people. It is confirmed. Palmer's FC reserves have added to the trophy hall for this season. Three in a week for the club. The last three videos on this channel are all cup final wins. Madness. Unlucky to Billet, who, of course, will feel hard done by considering the first game they were winning 3-2 when the game was abandoned. But who knows what would have happened in that one. Still plenty of time left. But with a fresh 90 minutes under the lights here at Tilbury in a scrappy game, not a classic at all, but these guys won't mind. We rode out 1-0 winners and we're going to lift that trophy. We started this team for some of the originals who weren't necessary to get in the game time they deserve. This team is purely about the football and enjoying it. Anything more like a trophy is an absolute bonus and we'll take it to I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone that's been supporting the channel recently. It's much, much appreciated. Drop a like for the reserves. Drop a like for free trophies in seven days. I'm Wastrated. Why not subscribe to the channel? Also, don't forget to click that bell for notifications for when a new video comes out. But for now, guys, we're going to enjoy this one. Hope you do too. <laughs> Yeah!